before I like explain in details about the paintings, the process of painting always used to be very isolating for me, which I really enjoyed. And um, when COVID hit, I reached this point where I just felt too isolated. I think like more than the majority of them were inside and in rooms, but I suddenly changed and I wanted to paint things outside. I wanted to paint outside scenes. Um, that's how I started, for example, this painting. It's called Remington Hot Springs, and it's an um, it's, um, actual hot springs which are located um, at the Sequoia National Park in California. It's actually like a collage of photos, I would say. So those are several photos that I put together in this triptych. And I think it's so far like my biggest work. So I worked on it for two years and I started this painting before I was pregnant. I continued it when I was pregnant and then I finished it when I had the baby. So there were three different Katya's painting it. And I guess that makes it for me like very, very emotional work, very interesting work. In this painting in particular, I like to paint what I've seen, how it really is, but then also create some fiction with those little added things in it, which makes it like more mysterious. I started this painting from an actual photo. I call them Eves. My last show I had, they were like the majority were female figures. Now this whole show switched, so I have just majority of Adam's one Eve painting. So I still have the symbol of the apple there and like all those female characters, which are in the hot sauce and the candle in the back of the windows. And um, so those are from actual famous paintings. Then also the birds, those are all birds that you find in LA. So I used a lot of local inspiration for that painting. And you have here the plate and the, the arm, the hand, which is handing over the flower to, to the male. I wanted with this plate to create a connection between the viewer and the figure inside. It's like you're sharing a plate or you're the hand that hands over the flower to the person. All the paintings are really diaristic. They all seem very autobiographical. Both paintings actually represent my mother and my father. Those are actually the photo that my mom sent to me from her apples in her garden. And she was also the one who created both of the spider webs and I connected them to the painting. So that's a collaboration of me and my mom. I, I I usually I usually paint the people themselves, like I portray them, but kind of like feel so I don't know why actually, but I feel like really intimate about my mom and my dad. So I felt more that I want to paint something that represents them for me, the apples of my mom, and I did the plums, my father, just because silly. Um, enough is favorite cake is like a plum cake. The first one was the father's painting one. The one was a, the man is holding the bottle, the baby, my baby. Um, that was the very first one. And it's, I think it explains, all of them explain themselves like very easy. I just painted what I actually seen and what I felt was so honest and so true and also so beautiful. Such a intimacy in those painting where I don't felt like I had to add anything, just a honest shot of something I see of a really intimate moment of either the father with with his daughter, or me being the mother holding my child. I think those are the most autobiographical, diaristic paintings of, of the whole show where I didn't add it too much and I didn't put too much fantasy in it.
When I look at my daughter, I just felt like she's just so perfect how she is. So I didn't really want to to um, change too much about it. I just really wanted to paint those moments. I just really wanted to capture her as I see her or how I see her, her, her father. So I think that was my main inspiration, just to capture their beauty.